All right, right now, the crew on board the SpaceX rocket that blasted off very, very early this morning from Kennedy Space Center. They'll soon be docking at the International Space Station. Yeah, this crew includes two Americans, a Russian cosmonaut and an astronaut from the United Arab Emirates. Mark Strassman has more on this historic mission. It is full power and liftoff at crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. This launch was picture perfect. The weather, the SpaceX Astro Mechanics, Florida's clear midnight sky. If you enjoyed your ride, please don't forget to give us five stars. But space voyaging, sailing in the stars, is fraught with risk. Back in December, a micrometeoroid hurtling 15,000 miles per hour hit a Soyuz capsule docked to the ISS. Its punctured radiator gushed coolant. It's never far from our thoughts either. Steve Bowen, this new mission's commander, told us space risk is omnipresent. He remembers taking a spacewalk once and seeing a shooting star below his feet. It's a real risk, and it's a known risk. Our capability of tracking that debris is improved, but it's not perfect. Despite a low point in relations between Washington and Moscow, they still cooperate in space. This crew includes a Russian cosmonaut, two Americans, and Sultan al Niadi, only the second astronaut from the United Arab Emirates to go to space. We have a myth that if you count stars, a star might come down and brings you to, to space. So that was my hope. Endeavor. This mission's Crew Dragon reusable capsule now carries a crew into space for the fourth time. A record for SpaceX, NASA's Uber ride to the ISS. Any qualms about that? I'm very excited to get to fly on Endeavor. I want to fly on one that's tested. So I don't have qualms about flying the fourth flight of a Crew Dragon. And the Dragon capsule is set to dock with the ISS just around 1.15 tomorrow morning. And once they're there, the crew will live in space for about six months, performing roughly 200 science experiments.